Baptism also shows our faith. Baptism shows our faith. It's a, it's a sermon. Better than I could ever preach of what God's done in our life. Let, let's go back to that scripture in the book of Romans. And it says, don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we may too now have new life. What's baptism? What's it show? Baptism is the beginning of your witness to a lost world. Every single person who will be baptized is declaring to all that are watching, I'm a child of God. And I'm going to try to get this right. I'm going to try to live for him. Through the Holy Spirit's power, I'm going to, I'm going to live for him. And trust me, every single one of us, we've still got things that we need to work through. <laughs> That's part of the process between now and when we get to heaven. Some of us, God's got to chip away at some rough edges. Some of us got more rough edges than others. Some of us are like a cactus, rough edges. And then others of us, we think we're doing good, and then it's just like, ah, you know what, your attitude. It's, oh, I know. And it's all part of the process. It's all part of the process. And, and, and that's what baptism does. Ba baptism is the beginning of your witness to a world that desperately needs Jesus. And finally, baptism is a testimony of what God's done in your life. It's a powerful story. It's a powerful story of the grace and the power of God. If our, uh, let's see, Amanda, if you can come on over here and we'll bring, Tiger, can you bring the boys over here too? That'd be great. I would be, I'd be totally remiss if I did not give anybody in here who needs to make a decision for Christ that opportunity. Uh, this, this symbolizes the power of God. This symbolizes the grace of God. This symbolizes the work of God. And I want to extend that opportunity to you. If you need Jesus as your Savior today, I want to give you that opportunity. Could we bow our heads, please, and close our eyes? No one looking around. You find yourself in this place and you'll say, you know what, Pastor Phil? I'm not in a right place with Jesus today. And friend, understand, if you feel that tugging on your heart, that is God really trying to get your attention because he loves you so much. And you'll say, Pastor, I need to give my life to Jesus. I need him to be my savior. I need to make him my Lord. If that is you today, I will not embarrass you, I promise, but I want to pray for you. And if that is your situation, if that is your desire today is to give your life completely to Jesus, I wonder if you might indicate that to me just simply by raising your hand and putting it right back down. I want to pray for you today. Is there anyone here? I want to give my life completely to Jesus Christ. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Thank you. Is there anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. I want to give my life completely to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray a prayer. And then we're going to have our baptisms and we'll let you go. And uh, I wonder if you might repeat this prayer with me today. Can we do that? Let's do this. Dear Jesus, I thank you for loving me and for dying for me. I ask you, come into my life. Become my Lord and my Savior. I confess all my sin to you, 
And I ask you, come into my life and help me to live for you every day. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can we give the Lord praise?